Um, just how did this um, signing come about? When did you know you sort of first hear from, I guess, Paul? Um, and how have you sort of ended up signing? Um, I want to say probably around a month ago, my agent reached out to me about an opportunity. Um, basically, at the beginning of the summer, I told her that I wanted to start looking for somewhere new to go. And she reached out to me about this opportunity. And then I think within an hour, I was on a phone call with Paul. And that conversation led to this. <laughs> What was it that um sold you on the uh on the Phoenix and on the stop opportunity? Um basically just the idea of the style of play that he wants to have with the team and the culture that he's looking to build um all fit in really well with my values and uh, the style of soccer that I enjoy. Um yeah, this team's been looking for a goal scorer, we've been looking for a number nine. Um do you feel you're ready and put your hand up and try and, and be that goal scorer? Um, for sure. I've been playing the nine position for the last few years now, and I've gotten really comfortable in that spot. I wouldn't say I'm your most typical nine, but I think I've adapted well, and I think I could really help this team. Um, How much confidence have you taken from your recent stint with um with Washington and especially scoring that goal against um Orlando? Um, I mean, I definitely had my ups and downs with the spirit, but um, the way that my time ended there, definitely leaving with a lot of confidence, moving into the next phase. And yeah, that goal definitely boosted me up real high. Yeah, I mean, it's quite a quite a stunning goal. Um, you know, how did it sort of feel in the moment scoring that goal? Um, it almost didn't feel real, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> It took me a second to realize that I had actually scored um, and processed that, but it, it was an amazing feeling. Yeah. Um, you've already had 12 caps for um, Venezuela. Tell me about you know, representing your country like that. What has that meant to you so far? Um, I love it. Every time I go to camp, I have a great time, and it, I just feel closer and closer to the girls every time that we meet up. And um, Obviously, I was born in the U.S. and my relation to Venezuela is through my father. So it definitely brings me closer to him and just closer to the people. Um, I definitely feel as though like I'm from there. Yeah. And um, so last year you had signed for um, CSK a, a Moscow and you were doing preseason training. How did it sort of all unfold in terms of realizing you, know, you weren't going to be going back to Russia um, with that team? Um, preseason had been going really well and everything. And, um, obviously there was no like certainty that the war would break out. And then until it did, um, once it did, I had a lot of conversations with my family and just came to the conclusion that the best thing for me was not to go. And then you ended up in Iceland last year. Um, you know, how have, how have you sort of felt you know you've got all these various places you've moved around and probably hasn't quite sort of you know found a place that's really clicked for you yet but um, how have you found all these different places you've been um well this is my second year in Washington and I love DC I think the city's amazing here I'm a big city girl um but like going to Iceland and being in Reykjavik was a completely different um situation and it, it was still overall such an amazing experience because I got to experience a different culture a different city a different lifestyle and it was just it was beautiful and I I learned from those experiences yeah thanks Brenton hi Mariana um Jason's my name welcome to the uh to the football club um when you come to a new club how um how do you go about forming uh connections quickly with those who you know you're going to be playing with and hopefully uh um, putting together attacking movements with? Um, I mean, I've already reached out to a few of the girls based off of just living and things like that. But um, I mean, I've obviously switched teams a decent amount at this point. Um, but yeah, just being open to the process and who the girls are. Um, that's like the foundation of having a good team and playing well together is getting along. So 
My apologies if this was asked before I jumped on the call, but uh, in terms of uh, the style of play that the Wellington Phoenix will uh, will look to play under Paul, um, what sort of discussions have you had with uh, with the coaching staff around the role that uh, that you'll play for the for the team? Um, I mean, from my understanding of what the style would be, is very more like a possession based with a purpose, but also um, definitely more of an attacking style and pressing up front as well to create turnovers and things like that. Um, I think my pressing is one of my strong suits along with my speed and ability to run in behind. So I think it really suits the style of play that Paul wants to have. Right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Anything from you, Sullivan? Yeah, sorry, I jumped on late as well. So again, apologies if this has been asked. But um, I mean, maybe to Paul, uh, first and foremost, I mean, I guess how excited are you or maybe off the back of the success of the Women's World Cup to, to you know, be able to uh, to play, you know, uh, or to be able to coach the, the Wellington Phoenix and what hopefully is a, a, another, I guess, maybe unprecedented time for the Wellington Phoenix with maybe fans, more fans jumping on board this season? Yeah, let's hope so. Um, the Women's World Cup's just been a massive success for everybody in this country. Um, the nation's really got behind it. The attendances at the games have been fantastic. And so if we can turn that momentum for uh, all this positivity around women's sport and women's football, we can turn that into the Women's A-League season and we can bring those bigger crowds um, to the games and we can play a style of football that is as entertaining as these World Cup games have been then um, hopefully the supporters will want to come on a regular basis and support the team um, so look I think it's just great timing I'm really excited about the season coming up because we're starting to put together a really really strong squad and you know where all these players um, have been signed like with specific intent to fit the way that we want to play so you know, we're hoping that we can play a brand of football that everyone's going to be really excited about and bring a lot of energy to the Phoenix. Paul, can we expect, uh, I, I mean, we're obviously, obviously expecting a lot more signings, but can we any, expect more blockbuster signings like this, uh, like this one from Mariana? Yeah, look, I mean, I think we're, we're pretty much on the way to almost getting the squad sorted. There's probably two or three positions left that we haven't, quite um, finalised yet. So, yeah, there's definitely potential for more players to come in. Um, we've used up three of the, the visa spots, so we still have two of those available to us if we want them. And we're, we're getting really specific now into that, those final kind of, I guess, places in the squad and what they look like. But we also want to give ourselves a little bit of time as well, like through the pre-season, just to kind of get things organised um, and... You know, you just never know when players are going to kind of pop up and be available and be ready. So we've got lots of people on the on the watch list, if you like, and talking to a few. But we also want to have some flexibility um, going into those final few weeks leading into the season to make sure that we can get the best possible team out um, that's available to us. Um, but yeah, the, the squad so far is shaping up really, really well. I'm super happy with where we're at right now and and uh players like mariana coming in are going to make a massive difference to us so we're um yeah we're absolutely delighted to have her and um it's going to be it's going to be exciting for both i think her as a player to come and play in this league but for us to work with her as well uh, she's a lot but we've definitely got um some excitement about the potential and the growth we can see there as well so it's going to be a really cool season and sorry, just one last one from me. I mean, Mariana, I mean, what's it like to be coming to New Zealand off the back of such a successful World Cup and, you know, to be here in New Zealand? And have you been here before? I'm sure you've probably asked this, been asked this question already. Um, no, I've actually never been before. So I'm really excited to be able to go over there and just experience what Wellington has to offer. And I think coming off of this World Cup, it's the most viewed World Women's World Cup thus far and I think it's really exciting to see that especially on that side of the world so I'm excited for what's to come this season and hopefully the fans show out Thank you. Well, any final questions for Mariana guys otherwise we can let her go and we can just finish with Paul I'm good 
Yeah, all good here. Thanks, BV. Cheers, Piney. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you very much, Mariana. We'll, we'll let you go. Okay, thank you. Thank much you. Much appreciated. Look forward thank to seeing you. you here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, bye. Awesome. Mate. Any uh, questions, any further questions for Paul? Uh, hopefully his internet connection holds up at Art in Brooklyn, Paul. We can... Um, yeah, sorry, Andrew. I sort of ducked out halfway through that one, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So maybe we can just start there. Like, you know, you, you had a big search looking for a number nine. How many options did you sort of look through, and yeah, you know, what was it that ultimately sort of had you settle on on Mariana? Yeah, look, my knowledge of strikers uh, in niche football leagues around the world is extremely high now. Um, <laughs> there's been a, there's been a, some deep dives into a into Y Scout into uh, footage all around the world. So you kind of search wide. Um, Mariana talks about kind of not being the typical profile number nine. And I think that was exactly what we were looking for. Somebody that wasn't the typical profile, um, but has got experience playing there, has scored goals. Um, obviously she's played international football as well and scored goals. So um, for us, the, the profile of her being um, really agile, mobile on the front line, her movement in behind defenders, um, and then her ability to kind of counter press, press high up the pitch, just is going to fit perfectly for us. We want a really energetic mobile team um, that can cause trouble for defenders. So she's going to fit in great. Um, and yeah, we're, we're super excited to have her. Um, but essentially her, her agent, um, put her in front of us initially and as you do with so many agents you get so many players like put in front of you and you have to kind of make sure that you do your research and all of them and as soon as I started watching stuff on her I was interested and then the, the kind of the further I got uh, the more I just thought this is going to be great and so then for me the initial interest was there and then it's just about where she at and what does she want to achieve and I think we're getting a, a really great time in her career where she's you know had some good experiences um but she's looking um for a home where she, someone's gonna play her regularly and believe in her and and give her the opportunity to shine and like she's really driven to get to that next stage of her career and just to keep on improving and for, uh, for me that was really important running a striker that was driven to help us succeed because um it's a big challenge for us and so yeah it's just a good fit she's she's a really calm kind of mature personality which again I think will help us balance in the squad so um everything just fitted together really and and um it wasn't too difficult once we started talking um in terms of figuring out the move and it would be a good fit for both of us oh, and just I got one other question it's slightly unrelated but just on your post the other day about um Aitana Bonmati um and just her being generous of her time and did she take that sign that was it your daughter's side? Like you had a photo of her sort of walking off of it. Um, but what was that sort of she did moment like? Yeah, yeah, that like was a... a star sort of making time for a young fan. Yeah, that was what was incredible, really. Um, Paul Wifel was, I think, sideline commentator, and he was he was kind of right close by when we were waiting around, and I was kind of saying to him, you know, like, have you seen this before? And and he said, no, nah, like this is incredible. So they just won the quarter final and. Quite literally, she she took a picture or signed an autograph of every single person that stayed. It was it was quite amazing. Um, so yeah, my daughter made a sign and um, and we uh, had a picture with her with that sign and and we uh, we gave it to her and she's very lovely and humble and took the sign off with her. So um, yeah, it's good when we're um, we're joking around that it's the lucky sign now. She's going to take it to the World Cup final with her and put it in the dressing room or something. You never know. <laughs> 